Hey y'all, it's Katie back here with another OnlyFans video. I apologize for my absence. Um, many of you know, I'm pregnant, I've been going through it. Um, I haven't been able to reply to many comments lately or check my creator email that you guys send um, to get advice from. So I do want to let you know that I do see all your comments and I do plan on catching up on them um, eventually here and replying to everyone. Um, just be a little patient with me. I would appreciate it because everything is so, so busy. 12 months of con content to record before I start showing. So everything has been so hectic. So without further ado, let's get into today's topic. I changed my OnlyFans pages. So if you were following me before this, you know that I had a VIP page and that I had a free page. Um, the VIP page, well, I guess it has changed a little bit, but the main change is my free page. So instead of having a free page, um, let's just say I have 25.7K fans on my free page. What was my free page? A couple days ago, um, my agency and I discussed that we are going to make that page a 999 page. We're going to do topless photos on the wall, so nudes, but then everything else PPV. Um, it's currently on sale for, I think it's $3.69. Um, now with those 25.7K fans that I have for the free page, we'll see how many of those stay um, on the 999 page. But I also now chat on what used to be my free page now that it is a 999 subscription price. But it's still on sale for $3.69 for the first month. Flip it over to my VIP page, which is $20 a month. I always keep that on sale for $3. Nothing's going to change. Um, $3 obviously for first month subscri subscribers. Um, but what has changed about that as far as like a perk to having my higher paying page, my $20 page instead of my $10 page, is that I now post a full length video every single week on my wall. So every seven days, I'll post a free full length video on my VIP page. Um, so everyone can see it. Everyone who subscribed can see it. I'm hoping that the turnover as far as like my renew ons are pretty good. Right now, I believe that my renew ons are sitting at 65%. People have their renew ons um, and I currently have 2.8K paying fans at the rate of $20. So. I'm hoping that entices people. I have done previously before this two paid pages. One was a no PPV page. One was a PPV page with nudity. So the difference between this is I, I'm doing that page with nudity only in a PPV and I have that higher subscription price, but I'm not posting all of my videos for free. I'm still selling PPV. I'm still in the inbox. Um, because I found what had happened before is when I had a no PPV page, I charged $50 a month, which is great. That's a lot of money, but I had over 80 full length videos on my wall for free. Once you subscribe for $50 and these weren't videos that were five seconds, 10 seconds. These were videos where the shortest one was five minutes. And I think my longest sex take was 25 minutes on the wall. So anyone who subscribed got all of that that I had posted up until that day for $50. And so, you know, I, I'd have a lot of people subscribe and then they would watch my content and they would disappear for a couple months. That way, when they reappear to pay the $50, they could catch up on videos. So they wouldn't have to consistently renew that $50, $50, $50. And I found out that I was missing out on so much between sexting sessions and my PPVs. So I found that happy medium and I'm hoping that posting one video for free a week on my VIP page entices people to pay that $20. If they do not want to, then obviously there's the option of the 999 page, which is no free videos. Um, and then just nudity on the wall through photos. Um, and then on my link tree. So as far as how my link tree is labeled, I have my VIP page that says VIP page or VIP only fans, $3 today only. 
and then I have in parentheses so they know free videos posted on the wall. I don't put no PPV because I still continue to have PPV along with my free videos so I don't want to misguide or mislead anyone. Um, and then I have highlighted in my bio on that page, hey subscribe and your subscription comes with one free video every single week. Um, as of now, my agency and I are continuing to keep the videos on the page per week. So last week's video is available this week and will be available the next week and all that. So I've been leaving those videos on. I don't know if eventually I'm going to, let's say, post a video for the week. And then by the time next week rolls around, when I post another different video, if I'm going to remove the video from the previous week, that way there's like at least one available on the wall um, to anyone who subscribes instead of having, because, you know, after a certain amount of weeks, let's say like, what's, what is there, 56 weeks in the year? I don't know we're just gonna say that but like let's say for a year I post a free video every week that's 50 some videos and so I'm not sure if I'm gonna let them build up and accumulate and let that be free or if I'm gonna delete them ever so often but still obviously keep my promise and continue to post one weekly so that's my thought process of that how has that changed my subscriber count I have noticed a drastic increase in my subscriber count. I would say that I was getting anywhere from 25 to 30 subscribers a day um, prior to changing this free full length video per week. Now I would say I'm getting about 50, 55 new subscribers a day. So 25 compared to 55, really good. I know it's only $3 to subscribe, but it's worked wonders. Um, another tactic that my agency and I have figured out is that every once in a while we will do a hundred free slots open to expired subscribers. So people who have already been subscribed, so it's not like new people coming in and seeing your content for free, but people who have already subscribed, sending them out a deal saying, hey, the next hundred slots are um, available for free. Mine typically go within the first day. I have a lot of subscribers since I've been doing OnlyFans. I have like, I think I have like over 30,000 expired subscribers. Um, so I have a lot of people that reaches out to. So typically those 100 spots are gone within that day. But it just kind of like builds up your subscriber count, builds it back up, gives you more communication with people. And then in return, hopefully you get more for your investment, more, more for your investment, more for your income. And also, obviously, they will see the new layout of my new page as far as one free video a week. So that's just an update on my page. Um, we'll see how it goes from here. I, I sit in the top 2% on my page that's not my VIP. I'm calling it my OnlyFans Gold, my $9.99 page. 2%, not bad. I've been making about $2,000 a week on that page, so not too terrible. It might pick up, it might not, I don't know. People are still subscribing to it, but obviously that more people are subscribing to the VIP page because I mean like for $10 more, why wouldn't you subscribe to the VIP page and get a free video a week? So, um, but yeah, got two different options. We'll see how they pan out. Um, we'll see how many of those 25.7 thousand people decide to stay on my free OnlyFans that was changed to a 9.99. That'd be so cool if all of them would stay. But I really don't think they will. I'm betting maybe a thousand would stay out of 25,000 because people don't like to pay for stuff. Once they're subscribed for free, like, if they were willing to pay, they more than likely would have subscribed to your VIP page to start with. So I'm kind of curious to see once this month rolls around what what they're going to do about that. Like, what, what the return of returning subscribers is. So we'll see. But that is just an update on my OnlyFans, changing things around. Before I go, I will link that guide that got me to the top 0.1%. Um, it is the cheapest it'll ever be. And I continue to say this every single video because it really truly is at the time I'm filming the cheapest it will be. So the reason I say that is because more and more material and content is added to the program often, very often. And 
as more content and material is added, as it gets to be a bigger program, as there gets more creators and, um, you know, just different, different programs, different guides, different, um, the guy who runs it does automation for you if you meet certain standards. Um, as the program obviously offers more, the course offers more, plus it's a one-time pay and you have access to it forever, obviously the price is going to go up because the more good content, the more you got to charge. So, um, yes, the sooner you get the course, the better. And um, once you purchase it, obviously you have it for life and everything will update on it. So you purchase it once at a certain price and when the course is updated, you don't pay a further price for that, if that makes sense. So you only pay the standard price of what you pay and then every other like building block towards the course or program um, is yours after because you've already invested in the course. So that's what I have to say about that. Um, until next time, I'll keep you all updated. Nausea has gone down a little bit. Super, super glad. Still not horny. Still don't have a sex drive whatsoever. Um, if you've checked out, if you want to check out my shorts, I uploaded last night, our little baby, we had an ultrasound, was like in my tummy and he was like waving his hands and his legs. It was so cute. Now I'm only nine and a half weeks, but we do this 3D, 4D ultrasound and it's so super cool. So like his little arm, arm buds or <laughs> did I just say the gender? No, I didn't. Um, I'll come out about the gender. Oh well, no, I'll just, I'll say the gender now. It's a boy. Okay. It's a boy. Um, his name is going to be Whitling Gray. So, um, we're super excited. Hopefully none of my family sees this cause we're going to have a gender reveal party in a couple weeks. And I didn't mean to say the pronoun his, but I did. So yes, little Whitling Gray was in my womb, weaving his little arm buds and feet around. It was super super cool he wasn't turning the way we wanted to for pictures super stubborn so he's definitely my baby so yes that's the update i will talk to y'all later and until next time keep working hard and i will see y'all soon bye guys